I'm Jordan Giorgio from Chat Sports, and it's time for Quick Hitters presented by Game Time, the number one mobile app for last minute sports and concert tickets at the best price in seconds. Go ahead and visit chatsports.com slash tickets to download. Let's get into all the latest news and rumors within the NFL. First up, the lawyer for quarterback Colin Kaepernick and safety Eric Reed has come out to say that he has a witness that can provide concrete evidence in their collusion case to prove a conspiracy that is keeping both Kaepernick and Reed out of the NFL for kneeling for the national anthem. Lawyer Mark Garrigo said last night on CNN that more evidence will surface soon and to quote, stay tuned because this case is about to take a dramatic turn. When he was asked what that meant, his response was that quote, somebody has decided that they were going to dime out the NFL for what they were doing. Garrigo also added that NFL owners are conspiring against his clients to appease President Trump saying that one NFL owner in particular testified under oath that he did change his mind about signing Kaepernick after Trump's remarks. Now this is what Garagos had to say about that. In this civil case, there's no doubt that the existing coaches, and I'm talking about Super Bowl winning coaches, have testified under oath that he's a starting quarterback in this league. And so that's mind boggling. When you ask them specifically why he isn't being hired, they say because of the national anthem policy. So now with that in mind, I want you guys to weigh in on this topic. Should Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed have a spot on an NFL roster? Go ahead and get your reactions in. Give me a heart for yes or a like for no. Into some next bit of news. The Tennessee Titans and Tampa Bay Buccaneers are working out details to plan joint practices that would take place in Tennessee before their preseason game matchup on August 18th. So the top two picks in the 2015 NFL Draft and quarterback Jameis Winston and quarterback Marcus Mariota will have the chance to meet again before they begin both of their fourth seasons now in the NFL. Titans head coach Mike Vrabel weighed in saying that they're trying to work through dates and what practices might look like ahead of any formal announcement they make. Next up, now Terrell Owens is feeling pretty confident in this possible his possible return to the NFL so confident that he thinks that he can help a team win a Super Bowl. While making an appearance on the Pat McAfee show, Owens was asked about what teams would be a good fit for his NFL return. He hinted at the Kansas City Chiefs saying, you think about what a guy like Andy Reid over there in Kansas City. You think about what they just did last year. They only lack a big play receiver or they lack somebody to draw attention so other guys are able to operate and really move the chains. There are teams like that are just maybe one player away from really extending their playoff hopes and even getting to the Super Bowl. Now there's one receiver that finally found his next home and that is former Giants and now Seahawks wide receiver Brandon Marshall. But apparently he didn't have many teams knocking on his door. After OTAs yesterday, he said that he didn't have a ton of options. He added that he thinks the sentiment around the league assumes he's done considering his age at 34 years old and coming off a pair of surgeries. But Marshall is grateful for the opportunity in Seattle and is ready to compete. Lastly, Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson's receiver DeAndre Hopkins is feeling confident that this duo could be the best in the league this upcoming season now that Watson is back and healthy. After OTAs yesterday, Hopkins said, Honestly, I feel like I set a high standard for myself and him, so I think we can be the best in this league. I think he can be the best quarterback. I know I can be the best receiver. That's our mindset coming into the season. Hopkins caught an NFL high 13 touchdown passes in 2017, seven of those from Watson, who became the first quarterback in history to throw for 19 in his first seven games. Excited to see what those guys can do this upcoming season. I'm Jordan Giorgio, and that was Quick Haters. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Jordan Giorgio. Until next time, I'll see ya.